Hi, this is Christina from Creations with Christina. Today I just wanted to do a quick tutorial on how to um, edit photos in Photoshop Elements. I use this a lot when I am working on a mini album if I want to make pictures a certain, certain size or if I'm making a collage for a scrapbook page. So I'm going to start off with, um, I print my photos at home. Um, so when I start a file, I make in 8.5 by 11. But what you want to do is, if you're going to be sending it out to be printed, I would suggest doing an 8 by 10. So you're going to start with File, New Project, and we're going to create a blank file. And sometimes it will default here to uh, pixels, so you just want to click where it says pixels and change it to inches. And I'm going to have a width of 8.5 and, and a height of 11, but if you're going to be printing these, send these to be printed, um, you want to choose 8 by 10. So I'm going to just go ahead and click OK, and my file is going to open here. And the next thing I'm going to do is start opening some pictures that I want to edit. So I'm going to open some pictures that I saved onto my desktop. And the ones I'm going to be editing, and let me get my, to my desktop here are these four pictures right here. These are all pictures that I took this past Christmas that I need to uh, put into my mini album. So I just went ahead and opened all four of them at the same time and they're going to actually pop up in a list down here in my project bin. So these are the four photos um, that I'm going to be working with. I'm going to go ahead and down in the bottom I'm going to select the one that I created for my blank file just by double clicking. And since I'm making these for my mini album, I've kind of been going um, roughly about anywhere from two and a half by four to three by four. Most of these are going to be two and a half by three and a half now because they're going to be used in my, um, my extra pages, my little uh, middle dividers that I made in my, uh, my mini album. So I'm going to use the marquee tool. That's this rectangular marquee tool over here on the left. And I'm going to select where it says mode. Normally it defaults to normal, which means that you can actually click and drag and make it whatever size you want the box to be. But I actually want to, I'm just going to click again to remove this um, shape on the screen. I'm going to go to fixed mode. So I select fixed size. And I'm going to change this. Right now it's at three and a quarter by three and a quarter. I'm going to change this to two and a half, so that'd be 2.50. Oops. So for my width, it's 2.50. And for my height, I'm going to actually let's try this again. Delete that. 2.50. And my height is going to be 3.50. So now when I come down here and I click, it's automatically going to put in a rectangle that is 2.5 inches by 3.5 inches. I'm going to go ahead and fill this in, the shape in, with a color. So I'm going to select um, first down at the bottom uh, left hand side here are my little color selectors. and you can pick whatever color you want it to be, um, or you can use the default colors. Let me just hit cancel here. And the default colors are black and white. Whatever one's in this top square is going to be the color it selects. If you just hit this little um, double arrow here, it'll change the top color to white. But I'm going to put it back to, to black. And then I'm going to hit my little paint bucket, paint bucket, and that is my fill option. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill that square or rectangle in black. And then I'm going to do Control D, which is deselect, or you could do select and then deselect up here. So the next thing I want to do is bring in my picture that I'm going to be adding into um, that I want to make two and a half by three and a half, and that'll be this picture here of Scott. It's my hubby, and as soon as I click that and drag it up into my project. It automatically on the right hand side creates another layer. So everything I do, I want to be making separate layers. In between the picture and my black box, I'm going to hit the Alt key, and my little hand here will turn to what looks like a little double circle. 
So I'm hitting the Alt key and then I'm going to click. And that kind of merges the two pictures together. And see now Scott's um, part of his head now is in the um, little black box. I'm going to select the Move tool, which is in the upper left-hand corner. And I'm going to go ahead and just reduce the size of this. And when I move it up, you'll see that the image stays inside that box. So I'm just adjusting this to the, the height I want it to be and the width. And then once I'm done, I'm just going to go ahead and click the little check box, which says, OK, I'm done. And it's transforming my picture now. It fits right inside. And what I did was is I didn't lose any of the pixels. If this was a bigger box and I tried to stretch it out, it wouldn't have lost any of the pixels that I that the picture that was in the picture. So it wouldn't look um, faded or distorted or anything like that. So let's go ahead and do that again. When you're doing, um, one thing I like to do is I like to take the two layers. So where um, it shows the picture of Scott in the black box, I like to hit the, select the um, one layer, which is over on the right here, and then hit the shift key and hold it down and select the second layer. And then I like to hit this little lock links. And that will keep my picture now one piece. If that was un um, if they weren't locked together, and I'll hit the unlock key here. To... Now, let's see. So when you select both of them again and hit the lock key, that unlocks them. But if I had tried to move this, it only moves the one, the one layer. If I want to keep them locked together, you select it and hit the lock key, and then you've got both of your objects are now linked together. So we're going to go ahead and create another one. I'm going to go up to, you can either do layer, new, layer, and it'll ask you if, to name the layer. I'm just going to leave it layer two. Or you could have just hit this little button here on the right where it says uh, create new layer. It's the easier way. It's the one I always go to. So I'm going to go ahead and select my marquee tool again. I'm going to go ahead and add that box just by clicking on the screen. I'm going to use my paint bucket to fill that image black and then hit Control-D control or Command-D and that deselects the image. It takes that little um, rectangle that selects it off. I'm going to select my picture I'm going to bring in and I'm just going to use this picture right down here. I'm going to click on it, hold it down, drag it up to my screen and you'll see it automatically create a layer over here for my image. I'm going to put my cursor right in between the image and my box that I'm using. Hit the Alt key to get the double circle and click. Use my Move tool in the upper um, left. And then using the directional boxes, I'm just going to go ahead and size this down so it's a little bit smaller. And what I like here too is if you wanted to focus in on one part of that, that image, you can you know, stretch it and do it that way. But I want to see um, what Ethan's doing here, which is he is using his advent calendar. So I'm just hit the OK button or the green check mark, and it'll actually go ahead and merge those two images together. I'm going to go over to the right, select my image, select my, hold down my shift key, select the layer two or the black box that I created, and lock those two together. And now what I could do is just move these around and get the most out of my printing that I plan on doing. The next one I'm going to do is um, this picture of Ethan and I. So again, I'm going to use the marquee tool. Click on the screen to add my box. And actually, I'm wrong. I'm going to go ahead and delete this by doing Command-D for deselect. And I have to add my new layer. So I'm adding a layer 3 and then selecting my marquee tool using the paint can. I'm going to go ahead and fill that in black. Hit Command D to deselect and then drag my picture up into my project. I'm going to hit the Alt key in between my image and my layer 3 to get that double arrow and click. And then my Move tool to go ahead and change the size of my image. So this is a picture of Ethan and I at a
concert that we went to um, earlier in December. And I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. Okay, and that went ahead and did the, put the image right inside that box. I'm going to come over to the right, select my image, my layer 3 box, and link them together. And now they're linked together to be moved around. Now, I like to use this, especially if this was an event that I was doing um, a scrapbook page on. I would probably put them all together. Um, and make it a collage that I can print out and just um, using my directional arrows to space it better, print it out and just cut it out the one piece so that I can do a collage on my, on my project. So the next thing I have is a picture. Um, this one I'm going to change the size of this one. I want this to be three and a half uh, width by three and a half height. So I'm going to go ahead and change those two sizes there. And going to add a new layer, put my box on there, going to use the paint can to fill it, hit command D or control D to deselect, and then drag my image up into my project. I'm going to take my cursor, put it in between my image and my layer 4, hit the alt key to get those Double circles, holding down the Alt key, I'm going to hit, click the mouse, and then using the Move tool, I'm going to change my image up. And this is just a picture of the front of our house this past Christmas, and I want to put this into my mini album. So probably just like that. And I'm going to go ahead and link these two together, and that'll be it. So normally what I would do, if you're going to use uh, print this right from your computer to your printer, I have a Canon Pro 9000 Mark II. Um, it's pretty big. It does um, large format printing, so it's, it does excellent. All the pictures I just did in the, my previous video for my medium, I printed on there, and it comes out just, um, just as perfectly as it does if I had sent them to be printed. But if you are going to send these to be printed, you're going to want to make this a JPEG um, file because when you upload it uh, to their website or however you send your files, um, they take it as a JPEG. So you're going to do File, Save As, and it automatically saves it as a Photoshop file. You're going to change it to JPEG, and then you can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to name this test and save it right to my desktop. And now when you go into wherever it is that you order your pictures from, you can just upload that right to their website. So I hope that helps. And um, I'm using Photoshop Elements 9. If you have any questions, let me know. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.